Okay, let's get this let's get this absolutely sorted out. I am sick to death of hearing about the metaphors that this bloody pack of nutters are using, which is battle, the war, the fight. Let's get into this. We can work it together. No, 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 no. The war, the battle, the fight to win. We just need Winston Churchill. That's all we need. We need Winston Churchill to pop up and go and give a speech. There's never been so many or so few. Hope five for everyone. I don't know, you know, it's like this lot of living in the past so much. It's, it's, it's just incredible. Why? Why? Keep referring back to it as a battle. It's a fight. Okay? We can work this together. It's another one. Let's get this sorted too. As far as I'm concerned, pardon me, we aren't in this together. There's them. Okay? And who were them? Well, it's the elites, isn't it? It's the government, it's the police, it's the ministers, politicians. Hey, Dobby! Police, government, politicians, ministers, and many more. They are the elites. They are not us. They are unlike us. They are the minute 1% in this country that runs the country because many, many people are sheeple. You know, what's a sheeple? Definition of a sheeple is somebody who's blind to what's going on, who accepts everything that's going on, that doesn't bother about anything else except what's in front of them on the telly. Has never probably learned to question things, and if they had, they've totally dismissed, they've given it away for blasé life. That's what they've done. That's a sheeple. And then, you know, we get these sort of like different, Things going on with politicians, the way they actually talk about stuff and the way that something comes out. I mean, one interesting thing today was the difference between England and Wales, you know, in exercise time. And I'm just going to read a little bit here, actually. For those wishing to exercise their exercise rights, the new coronavirus regulations treat English and Welsh joggers rather differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Regulation 6 of the Health Protection, brackets, coronavirus uh, restrictions, England regulations, 2020, states this. During the emergency period, no person may leave the place where they are living without reasonable excuse. And there's that reasonable again. A reasonable excludes, sorry, a reason, a reasonable excuse includes under regulation 6, brackets 2, the need to take exercise rather either alone or with other members of their household. Okay, so you think we've got that right? Okay, now by contrast, I've got to look at the wills now. Regulation 8, brackets 2 of the Health Protection Coronavirus Restrictions, Wales, Regulations 2020. What does that state? Well, that states that the reasonable excuse includes the need to take exercise no more than once a day, either alone or with other members members of the household. All right. Uh, now to, to the English one, a reasonable excuse includes an erect to you the need to take exercise either alone or with other members of their household. <sighs> okay. During the emergency period, no person may leave the place where they are living without reasonable excuse. So you know, again, we have the cabinet and politicians are addicted to complexity. They're utterly addicted to it. They're addicted to complex complexity because they are driven by the need to give legislation the power because it bases it on everything which is fraudulent. By the people. I'll say that again. The reason why things are so complex in politicians' life, and especially in the cabinet's life, is they they overcomplicate everything. And why do they overcomplicate it? Because they are scared to death that instead of three million people getting what they want and need now, which is money now, 
And they will stop that 3 million getting that money simply because they might include of that 3 million, 25,000 little fiddle that will be deceiving the government into get this money, the tax money. Oh, sorry, the wages, the 80%. So what you've got to sort out here is, it is extremely simple to sort out complexity. And how is that simple to cause? How is it simple? How is it simple to cause that uh, to sort that out? Easy. Do it this way. Are you listening, Mister Chancellor of the Exchequer, Boris, the Budger, the Budger? Here we go. If there are three million. 250,000 people who are not getting wages, but you're going to give them 80% of it anyway. They don't have to jump through, jump through hoops to get it, but that's what you're making them do. That's why many people are not going to get anything until June 2020, even though they're entitled to it, even though we know we have to have this money going in and out, blah, blah, blah. So let's make it simple. If there are 20,000 people, say 25,000, no, let's say, let's say 400,000 people actually fiddle this. There will be some that fiddles it. They actually fiddle what's going on right now with the money. Let's let them have the money. Let them have it. They will be found out eventually. So let them have it. Get the money to all the people now, including them, because you won't know who they are until later on down the line. And later on down the line, once they get found, make no bones about it, knock the shit out of them, knock ten cans of shit out of them with fines to be lambasted in public, the faces everywhere, prison, hard labour, and let everybody see their faces. Because in this time, right at now, I am interested in what your perspective is. All I know is that there is over 3 million people need money now. Okay? Now. So my, 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 my way of solving that, the, the overcomplication, the, and some people go to me, you're undersimplifying, you're oversimplifying. No, I'm not. I'm not. What's the best thing to do? 3 million people, 40,000, 60,000, 80,000 people who get money by deception. Or give the 3 million people their money and give those other 30, 40, 50,000 their money too that they apply for. Sorted. It is sorted. Don't tell me anything fiscal or this or whatever. All I'm interested in is making sure the people get it. Look, when you say to a dying man or a man that's drowning, you say to him, you should have learned to swim, bro, as his head's going under all the time. You don't. You put your hand out, you grab the person, and you pull them out the water. Okay? It's as simple as that. The story of the saint who was asked by a poisonous what they call them little scorpions. And the scorpion said to him, take me across the water, because like, you're going across. He said, no, I'm not going to take you across the water, because you're going to sting me. And he said, oh, look, I promise I won't, I won't, I won't, I will not do it. Just please, let me get across the water with you. Put me on your back. And he looks and goes, what? Really? I won't, promise I won't sting. Put him on his back, and he starts swinging away. Halfway across, the scorpion stings him. <laughs> the saint turns around and says to him, you said to me you promised you weren't going to do that. He says, well, as in you, it's your nature to try and help me, but in my nature, it's to sting you. And that's the nature of it. You know, and this is the same with fiddlers, people who are deceptive, people who want to con this. Let them con, let them do it. Just let them go. But bring the people in that really need it. How can you sort it out? You can't. It's too complex, which is why people aren't going to be fed with money until June and July and August. Simple story, that. Simple but true.